is going on YouTube? Welcome back to your clothing guide, the Hoxton Trend. Right guys, in today's video, what I'm gonna do is go through a very quick Canada Goose comparison video. It's winter time and I know a lot of people are looking for Canada Goose. You know, they probably want a lot of buying advice, comparisons, kind of see how the different Canada Goose models stand up. As you know, I've been getting a lot of Canada Goose in through my Instagram store, Hoxton's Wardrobe, where I trade a lot of clothing and my own personal clothing as well. So what I will do is as the Canada Goose pieces come in, I will do a review for you guys, just so you can see the jackets, the different models, the quality, and get my thoughts on what these products are saying, okay? This video is the Canada Goose Macmillan and the Canada Goose Maitland comparison, okay? So listen, let's get on with it. Let's see what these jackets are saying, okay? Two seconds. <laughs> guys so this is it this is both of the jackets in I've actually got two of the models I've got two Canada Goose Maitlands and I've got two Canada Goose Macmillan jackets just to go through the differences of the jackets real quick with the Canada Goose Maitland we've got some pockets at the top and we've got some pockets on the bottom here both of these are more flap pocket so I would call this more of a military style short parker jacket from Canada Goose in terms of the thickness it's pretty much very very similar to the Canada Goose Macmillan they're both around the same thickness the materials the same build qualities you know is more or less the same we're simply just talking about style here because I think when it comes to warmth both of these jackets are just as warm as each other. I wouldn't say that one jacket is necessarily warmer than the other. It's just gonna be more what you prefer in terms of style. So if you like that kind of military style with the pockets here. The other thing with the Canada Goose Maitland is that the hood is removable. So you can actually take this off with a little zip. There is a little zip function there. You can just take that off and then you can just wear it as a kind of um, field jacket without the hood. The other thing as well is that Canada Goose actually have a lifetime warranty with their jacket. Sometimes what you'll find on some jackets is they develop a slight bit of wear along the seams. Um, and I've noticed this sometimes when you've taken it to the dry cleaners, you've brought it back and you might start getting a little bit of wearing. If you send it off to Canada Goose, they can actually check it for you and examine and make sure that it's not a fault. And if it is a fault, they can repair the jacket for you or sometimes they do, they do repair it at a cost if they think that it's your fault. But to be honest with you, their um, lifetime guarantee is really good and it's actually helped me out a few different times. Now this is a size large, so for me, I find that the Canada Goose and Maitland jacket is true to size. If you're a size large, I would say go for a size large. But the large, you can see that lengthwise is nice, got a nice length on the arm, so you have got a cuff here, but you've got some protection over the cuff. I'm just gonna put on a medium to show you how the Canada Goose in medium looks. So this is actually my medium sized Canada Goose, which is just a little tiny bit too small for me now. But if you look at the arms, you can see the difference with the large. Remember the large, it kind of went a lot more over like that with the large. But you can see with the medium, what happens is the cuff sticks out. I can get away with it, it doesn't feel tight, it fits a little bit more snug, but I am more heading towards a large size, where I, I was a medium to large before, but I think I'm more a large now. In terms of the length of the jacket, that seems to be all fine, so my only real issue seems to be the arm. Anyway, to cut a long story short, I would say stick true to size when it comes to the Maitland and when it comes to the Macmillan. So let me just flick on the um, Canada Goose Macmillans. Let me show you what they are saying and show you the quality and what my thoughts are, okay? Right here, I've got a brand new Canada Goose Macmillan jacket in size large. You've got that nice room that you have on the cuff where the, um, it might stick out a little bit more like that. So you can see that the size large actually fits me quite well. Um, another thing to note on both of the jackets is they've both got fleece pockets as well. If your hands are a little bit cold or a little bit wet, you put them inside your jacket, you rummage them around and they do actually get a bit warm and dry out because of the fleece inside. The other thing as well is that the hood is permanent. So if you're one of those guys that likes to take hoods off and you don't like the hood on all the time, then the Mac Macmillan might not be good for you because the hood is a permanent hood, okay? The funnel hood actually acts to protect you from the rain, the elements and the wind. So if you just put it out like that, there you go, funnel hood. So this is the size large, guys. I'm just gonna quickly try on a size medium because I have actually got the camo 
version in size medium, which I'm going to show you very quickly. Now, for me, I, I really like the camo color of the Canada Gooses. This is a size medium, so you can see, if you look at the cuffs, you can already see that it's kind of hanging down there a little bit. So, as I showed you before, it should actually kind of cover you over like that, and that is how you will know that you more or less have the correct size item. In terms of um, quality, both jackets are excellent quality. The outerwear construction is water resistant and it is windproof. Now in terms of um, handling um, weather conditions, in cold weather conditions for me, the Canada Goose Macmillan and the Canada Goose Maitland both live up to their um, reputation as extremely warm jackets, very very um, durable and just excellent for really cold conditions. If I had to choose the two, I would say that the Mac the Maitland actually just feels a little bit more, bit more of a robust jacket. I like the fact that you've got the pockets up at the top and you've got the pockets um, at the bottom as well and it's got that military feel. I do like the fact that the hood is removable as well, even though chances are I wouldn't really remove the hood, but I just like that as a feature just in case. They're both very, very similar jackets. So it really does boil down to aesthetics, which one you prefer. So listen guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I've got lots more like this coming. Make sure you stay tuned. Make Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, just, just follow us man, you know it makes sense. So listen, I'm out of here, lots more Canada Goose jackets reviews coming, so make sure you stay tuned. Peace out.